going on everybody welcome back today we're going to be doing a review on the mevo plus here we're going to try to shed some light on the good the bad and the ugly and hopefully give you some insight on whether or not this is the golf simulator for you so what is the mevo plus the mevo plus is an indoor and outdoor golf simulator launch monitor that's offered at an affordable entry-level price and it's used by players, coaches, and club fitters so that they can analyze and access data so they can make informed decisions on swing mechanics and equipment changes. And it uses a patented fusion tracking technology to provide us performance data. And we'll talk a little bit more about what that is here in a little bit. And if you're looking for specific detail and are interested in jumping around, be sure to check out the chapter descriptions below. So this is what it looks like when you first get it out of the shipping package. It has a really clean looking outer display box. And this is the protective carrying case that you'll use to transport it to and from the range. It features this rugged spring-loaded carabiner that allows you to quickly clip it to your golf bag and you're on your way. Then to the Mevo Plus. Overall, the clean, minimalistic design isn't bad and it really grows on you from an aesthetic standpoint. The other things that are in here are the power adapter, the charging cable, the angle gauge, the metallic stickers, and then all the licenses and quick start setup guide. It's always scary when you're about to spend this much money on something and you're not even sure if it'll even work with your setup. Or will it work reliably? Or will it give you accurate data? Especially when you start to consider that some of the higher end simulator launch monitors could even run into the tens of thousands of dollars. And so we're going to try to unpack that a little bit and get to the bottom of whether or not the Mevo Plus is a great launch monitor that just happens to be at an affordable price or is it just cheap. So stick around to find out. Or you could just take Bryson's word for it. Are you serious? Woo! You're welcome. So this thing feels like it's built well. It's pretty sturdy and it's got some weight to it. If I'm not mistaken, it weighs just about one pound um, and it's about six and a half inches wide. Uh, I think it's four and a half inches tall and a little over a half inch thick. So if you plan on trying to inconspicuously hide this thing somewhere uh, where you're going to set up your monitor, you could probably achieve that pretty easily. So this is the built-in camera that's used to emit the radar as well as you'll use this when you're aligning your ball. And again, this is also where the fusion tracking takes place. Um, it uses high-speed image processing and combines that with 3D Doppler tracking radar uh, to track that metallic round sticker that's on your ball. And when it's tracking your ball, it gives you 36 data points including full swing, short swing, and putting. It has four independent receivers that's tracking tiny variations that's reflected from the metallic sticker on your ball spinning in the air. And these variations are what the Mevo Plus is tracking in order to give you the spin rate of your ball. When used indoors with limited ball flight distance, it becomes harder to measure the spin rate because the ball may execute only a small number of rotations before being stopped by a screen or net. Therefore, reflective stickers are needed to enhance the signal variations due to ball spin, making measurements possible. This can also be synchronized with your phone's camera via the FlightScope Multicam app to clip videos together with all of your data. Purchasing this unit gives you ownership of six golf courses through the E6 Connect application as well as 17 different practice ranges. The courses that come with a stock license are Aviary Golf Club, Bay Hill Golf Club, The Belfry, Sanctuary Golf Course, Stone Canyon Golf Club, and Wade Hampton Golf Course. So moving on to the setup. Depending on where you're going to be using the Mevo Plus, whether that's indoors or outdoors, there's going to be different distances that you'll need to place the unit at. If you're taking it outside of the range, there needs to be 7 to 9 feet from the sensor to where your ball is with unrestricted ball flight. For normal indoor setup, you need 7 to 9 feet from sensor to tee and a minimum of 13 feet of ball flight. The setup option that I'm using is the short indoor mode, which requires 7 feet from sensor to tee and at least 8 feet from your ball to the impact screen. You're going to want to use the included angle gauge to set your tilt angle to 12 degrees and your roll angle to between 0.1 degrees and negative 0.1 degrees, so a level surface is crucial. There are some aftermarket devices you can purchase for relatively cheap like this one here that will make setting up your roll and tilt angles a lot easier as well as protect it from accidental impacts. Once you get all the apps downloaded and licenses installed, you're ready to go. When placing your ball either on a tee or on the ground, you want to make sure that you have the side with the metallic sticker facing away from the Mevo Plus towards the screen. Another option you can use in place of the metallic stickers are RCT balls. Most launch monitors can read these. These normally run on the more expensive side. For reference, a set of Pro V1 RCT balls will cost you around $65. Now you're ready to start hitting. It works pretty reliably picking up almost all my shots. I try to get a benchmark for what that percentage really is. And for me, on average, roughly one out of 20 shots wouldn't register. 
so about 95% of the time it was working as expected. Take from that what you'd like, but keep in mind this was from a small set of data points and in an uncontrolled setting. I just didn't have time to sit there for days hitting millions of shots. Another important thing to note is that it does not like low shots. So if you're someone that has a lower trajectory on your ball flight, that might be something to consider. Just for some context, I have one of my buddies over to play who has the lower shot shape and it was probably closer to only picking up 75% of his shots. Again, take what you want from that, but it's just something to think about when you're considering going with the Mevo Plus. When it comes to the swing and flight data, it seems to be impressingly accurate. When testing it out on the range, it rarely seems to be off more than 5 to 10 yards. Even when hitting the longer shots, the precision is so accurate it's almost mind-boggling. And whether it's a sunny or a cloudy day, it doesn't seem to noticeably affect the performance at all. And I haven't yet had a chance to test it out in cold weather conditions, but I have tested it out in 90 degree plus temps, and I haven't had any issue. Now FlightScope claims that you'll get up to 2 hours of battery life in the native FlightScope app. While using it in the E6 Connect app, you only get one and a half hours on a full charge. The reason for the difference is that the native apps have Sleeping a setting that will put the device to sleep if you hadn't hit a shot in two minutes. And then you have to manually wake the radar on your phone or PC. I've been using this unit on a regular basis for about three months and I can say that those numbers are pretty accurate. Honestly, for how much it costs, I would expect a little bit better battery life. The problem that you're more than likely to run into is if you're playing around with a few buddies, you won't be able to finish in an hour and a half. There is a 20,000 amp hour battery pack made by Anchor that gives you an additional five hours of use and you can purchase that through the FlightScope website for $75. On a positive note though, you still can use the Mevo Plus while it is plugged in and charging. You can sign up for free on MyFlightScope.com to join their large online community where you can participate in different tournaments and challenges with people from all over the world and with a wide variety of skill levels. Any of the data from all the FlightScope applications are free of charge to upload and store with the basic plan on MyFlightScope. If you choose to go with one of the paid memberships, you can upload and store videos from your sessions. These packages range from $12 a year all the way up to $600 a year. Yes, you heard me right. Their gold package is $50 a month. So the retail price for this bad boy is $2,000, which is a little steep, but when you start to compare it with some of the other launch monitors with similar capabilities, it's really not that bad of a price. And one of the many great things that FlightScope does is they're always running promotions where you can pick this thing up for $1,800. And normally that's during major PGA event weekends. I've even seen this thing as low as $1,700 during Black Friday events and Cyber Monday, which is an additional $300 off this unit. And FlightScope does offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if you're not satisfied with the product after getting a chance to test it out for yourself. Additionally, if 36 data parameters isn't enough for you, you can always add the Pro Package for an additional $1,000, which gives you access to an additional 14 data parameters. But I mean, really, $1,000 for additional 14 data parameters? It's really not worth it in my opinion, but hey, if you're looking to go all in, it might be something worth looking into. So the big question that we asked at the beginning of the video was whether or not the Mevo Plus was a great launch monitor that just happened to be offered at an affordable price, or was it just another cheap product being pushed out to market? I mean, sure, there are some things that I wish the Mevo Plus would do better. For example, giving us the longer battery life, or picking up those lower trajectory shots on a more regular basis. But honestly, those are some of the downfalls that I would expect out of a launch monitor that comes in at this price point. And remember, cheap is defined by removing valuable characteristics at the expense of the user experience. And I just really don't think that that describes the Mevo Plus. I really do believe that all of its great characteristics outweighs any of the negative. And so with all that being said, hopefully you now know enough to make an informed decision on whether or not the Mevo Plus is the launch monitor for you. And if the answer is yes, be sure to use one of the affiliate links below to pick one up for yourself. If you enjoyed this review and you thought it was informational, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you'd like to see me do a review on in the future, be sure to leave a comment and let me know. See ya!